Hey everybody, and welcome to part 34 of this Platinum Let's Play. On the last episode, we went through Route 223, I think it's 223. Um, and, uh, yeah, managed to get up to the waterfall, to the Victory Road entrance, and uh, here we are. In the Pokemon Centre, right next to where we need to go. So, I think that's what we'll do. Um, this place isn't particularly tough, um, really, but, you know. Uh, so make sure you've got plenty of repels. Um, although in Platinum you can find Wild Gabite here quite rarely. Um, again, if you didn't pick it up in the Win uh, Wayward Cave, sorry, um, it's still a very good Pokemon to use. I don't think I've got a repel back up. That's probably why. Okay, so just quickly before I keep going, I'm going to go down that other route just because there are a couple of po this guy down here has got a couple of Pokemon you're probably going to want to see. You. I'm a psychic. I can see your future. Okay, well, tell me how this battle will turn out. Anyway, so Psychic Bryce has a Haunter, level 43. Oh, well that was a bad time for Quick Claw to kick in. Although I think it'll probably still take it out because Haunter is rubbish defensively. Uh, yeah. Non stab, 50 power, boom. Although actually I don't know how it works with um, hidden power. Uh, not hidden power. Quick claw. Why did I say hidden power? I don't know why I said hidden power. The uh, Shadow Ball. Let's see how well we can take this. If I can survive, that thing's dead. Oh, nice. I probably want to switch out next turn though. She also has a Gengar, level 46. Oh, are you kidding me? Ugh. Well, I can't really be bothered with Spaghetti dying, so I think I'll switch into Roadhouse. Predicting a, uh, a Shadow Ball. Yep. Alright, well, let's use Fly, since it's the only move I can hurt it with. Has payback. No. Okay, so because I switched, I think I'll go back into uh, spaghetti. Although actually, that's probably a bad move. So here's another Pokemon you're probably going to want to see. In platinum, at least. Uh. Let's just use a Moomoo Milk and see what this thing's going to do. It's probably just going to use Psychic. Maybe I'll survive. Uh, well, not survive, but maybe it'll do less than half. Psychic. Oh, Future Sight. Okay, well that's better. Let's use Payback. Oh, really? That's really annoying, because I don't get this to be 100 power. In fact, that's why I need to take this thing down. Yeah, that was definitely 50 power. In prison. Now you're using Psyche. That's good, because now I can actually finally get the Hunter Power and take you down. That's surprising. A Psychic from a Gardevoir did more than a Shadow Ball from a Gengar. That's surprising. Because Gengar's got better special attack. Anyway, so we'll go to level 46. So be it. I will now divulge what I know of your future. I see it now. You will battle the Elite Four of the Pokemon League. Well done. Anyway, so you can find the very useless TM for Torment here. Not a particularly great move, to be honest. Um, has some sort of merit competitively, but generally just sucks. Um, so, we're going to want to head up here. And this girl's got quite an important Pokemon if you didn't visit the route that has Power Park on it. Um, let's switch to Hopper. I can never remember which one of these is the right way. Okay, well obviously that tells me everything, because this is the wrong way, which is the way I would probably want to go. Okay. I keep battling so I can soar even higher into the skies. You're in a cave! 
There is no sky in here. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, so Birdkeeper and Hannah has a Noctowl. Level 45. Let's hit it with a nice beam. Hopefully take it out. Maybe, 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 no. Uh, I don't think I can take it down with Aqua Jet from that range. Now let's just use Surf. I'm out speeding anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so here's the Pokemon you really want to see. Togetic. Level 47. The levels are certainly creeping up now. Safeguard. Okay, well I will use Aqua Jet against you. Because I was certain I'd be able to take it out from that range. Go level 46, trying to missed, don't care. At all, do not need it. Ever. It seems I've been grounded. Yes, by my ice beam. Anyway, so there's a max repel up here. Very useless, but actually it's not too useless, I guess, in here. Whoa. Sorry for that lag. Oh well you also need rock climb apparently. Which is ancient It's a red candy there. And there's a very, very useful TM for one of my Pokemon in here as well. See. Oh, hello. This girl is very important to hit with a physical attacker. Um, I'm going to go with Scooby Doom just because I know the other Pokemon she has because she has two Pokemon. Um, this girl is amazing. Unfortunately, you can't use the VS Seeker against her because she's in a cave, but this girl is amazing. She has three Pokemon. She has a Blissey level 45, this thing gives a mountain of experience, just make sure you hit it with their physical moves, because this thing is a monster to take down if you don't use it with physical moves. Use it with physical moves, take it down with physical moves. Wow, light screen. Flamethrower would literally do like 1 HP at that point. Well, I don't think it would do 1 HP, but very little. And now for the boatload of experience. Oh, actually, that wasn't that much. Anyway, so she also has a Magnazone, which we haven't seen before. Level 48. This Magnazone is... I think I love Magnazone, quite frankly. I think it's an awesome boat. And it looks awesome in this generation as well. Ew, Thunder Wave. How I hate you for that. Okay, so let's just hit it with a flamethrower again. Discharge. Well, that's a little redundant. Why would you have Discharge and Thunder Wave? Why wouldn't you just have Thunderbolt? Discharge is mainly for use for paralysis anyway. Okay, so I always remember she's got those two Pokemon, but I don't remember her last one. But anyway, I'll go to level 46. And a Glalie. Okay. Uh, well, everyone's level 46 at the moment, so let's just go into Gladiator, I think. I'm not switching into Roadhouse after the last time. Okay, so level 46, clearly. I'll smash the light screen as well. Cool. Not that I need to worry about it, but... Oh, that's why it took that flamethrower so well. Oh, I was wondering about that. <laughs> Completely forgot about that light screen. So that's how you battled. Well, yeah, obviously. That was a really stupid thing to say. Um, where do we have a full restore? Do we have a full restore? We do, cool. I can't be bothered. <laughs> I'd rather just use the full restore, to be honest. Okay. There's a nugget hiding on or in that rock. I don't know whether it's on or in, I never know. Anyway, so up these stairs here, and uh... Oh yeah, we do need red rock smash and strength. 
is cool. So we push this out of the way. And then what you want to do is you want to push this one all the way over. This this weight isn't essential. Um, oh, damn it. You can come up here for a couple of for an item if you want it. I know what that item in the top right hand corner is as well. That's the TM I need. Okay, so let's slow down our gear a bit. Just so I just only jump over this one bit. And then get ourselves a max elixir, which is kind of useful I guess. It's not something I'm probably going to be using, but... Okay, so this is the main way we want to go. Smashing that right rock accomplishes nothing. So make sure you smash the left one. Let's get off the bike. Uh, whoops, hello. Oh, damn it. I pushed that all the way over and I didn't need to. Um, so is there anything up here? Oh, I know, it's just a ledge. Right. So let's take you on. I think this guy's got a moth in. I don't think he leads with it, but I think he's got a moth in. I think he's got a mammoth swine, actually. Yeah, there it is. Mammoth swine, number 45. A Pokemon we haven't seen yet. An amazing Pokemon at that. I love Mama Swine. And take it down. Awesome. Let's see the Pokemon you have. Oh, Rampados. That's it. Be very careful with this thing. Uh, let's take it down with Hopper, I think. I don't have any shortage of ways to take down a rock type. In fact, every single one of my Pokemon has a way to take down a rock type. I like Rampardo, so I just wish it was a bit faster. Because then it would be able to wreck. Anyway, so level 48. And then finally. Mothim. Okay. You're as tough as you look. Uh, is that a compliment or what? <laughs> okay, so you're not going to want to push. You're going to want to push down this left one rather than the other one. Because if you break this rock, then you can push it back up and get through. What? I think this girl's got a Tulsera. I think. This total stranger will be a good way to see if I have what it takes to to own to, to own. Wow, to own the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Nice, I like your use of the word own. <laughs> anyway, so Ace Trainer Sydney has a Clefable, level 47. Just seen loads of Pokemon we haven't seen before in here. Although actually we've seen them, just not in their fully evolved form. I love Clefable, quite frankly. I think it's an amazing Pokemon. I always want to use it in a playthrough. Um, but I never bother. It's actually one of my favourite Pokemon. Yeah, there's the Torterra I thought she had. Level 48. But I don't think we've seen a Torterra yet. Oh yeah, actually, yeah we have, because I started with Piplup, but if you haven't, then if you didn't start with Piplup, Turtwig, then you probably won't have seen this thing. Oh shit, Earthquake. Uh, let's see if I can survive this. I did burn it, luckily. Uh... Oh, okay, fine. At least the burn will take it out. That battle just now make must make you feel tougher. I didn't, I didn't read all of that. Um, let's just heal, just because I'm going to want to use Houndoomed for the next... I just said Houndoomed. I keep thinking I called it my username on YouTube, but I didn't. 
uh, Scooby Doo. There we go. Because uh, I know the next guy has a Tangrowth, I think. I think he's got a Tangrowth, I'm not sure. I know he's got a Licky Licky. I can predict all of the Pokemon in here. I've, I've, I've played this through this game so many times, it's insane. Um, you can't go through this strength puzzle right now, which is why it looks like impossible. Um, essentially what you've got to do is you've got to fight this guy, and then, or you, I think you can avoid him actually. Go down the stairs and then go back up, and then you can go there. And I do recommend you go there, because there is an incredible TM at the, at the back of it. Okay, so veteran Clayton has a Star Raptor, level 47. Uh, oh, hello, I'm going to want to switch out here. <laughs> that thing's obviously faster than me. Um, let's see... Let's go into Gladiator. There's no way I'm taking this thing out with uh, Scooby-Doo. Because I know what's coming. Oh! Wow, you bitch, you predicted me! <laughs> How do you have Brave Bird at level 47? Well, actually, is that when you get Brave Bird? I thought it was like level 60. It'd be awesome if it's dead. Because I don't need double team anymore. Uh, did you predict me or do you just not have close combat? Or are you just bluffing the close combat? Oh, I'm faster. Cool. I didn't think I'd be faster. I think the recoil will be its own demise. Let's take it down. And a licky licky? Yeah, licky licky. Uh, let's go into Roadhouse. Oh, well, actually, this may be a bad move. I hope it doesn't have Thunderbolt or Ice Beam. <laughs> licky licky looks so dopey in this game. Uh, let's close combat. Yeah, I thought it would survive. Now what are you going to use? Slam. Well, I intimidated you, so that shouldn't take me out. Wouldn't have taken me out anyway. Okay, so we'll take that big honking tongue thing down. Brilliant. Yeah, I, okay, so it's not him who has the tank growth. I know which one does. So there's two veterans in here. One of them has the licky licky, one of them has the tank growth. Okay, so going back up, uh, well, going down then back up, you can push this boulder down. Whoops. Okay, let's... Um, I'm... There's a really tough pair coming up. Um, I'm going to want to have... Uh, I think Spaghetti and Hopper will do the best. Not Spaghetti and Hopper, uh, Roadhouse and Hopper. Because this duo that's coming up is going to be really tough. Um, how do I want to do this? All the way to the end. You over. Wait, the rock, and then push that one down. Okay. Yeah, that duo there is tough. They use level 50s. So be prepared for that. Okay, so you can find a forest store here. I can't remember the other Pokemon this these two have, because I know they have a Rapid Ash, but I don't remember the other one. Um, I'm actually going to fully heal my team, just because this two, this duo is tough, seriously. Uh, let's heal up Spaghetti. Oh, I could have used a Moo and Milk. Um, Let's use a Moo and Milk on Road House. I'd like to use Spaghetti's Earthquake, but um, then I'm probably going to get taken down with a Fire Blast or something, so I won't bother. Uh, let's go for a Moo Moo Milk. Actually, I will have Gladiator up front, I think. And I'll switch it for Hopper. Because I don't remember the other Pokemon they have. Gladiator. Gladiator can work well in all situations. I intend to perfect, perfect my double battle technique. That will make me better all around. I want to improve my double battles, doubles technique as much as I can. That will improve me as a trainer. Didn't you both just say pretty much the same thing? Anyway, so Alan K have a Staraptor and an Ambipom. Okay, fine. It's the other one that has... Because there's two duos in here. One of them has these two, and the other one has... Um, 
a Rapidash and um, a Luminion. Okay, so... What the hell do I want to do against these two? Uh, let's close combat the Ambipom. That's a big risk. And let's Psycho Cut the Staraptor. Ew, Aerial Ace. I think Gladiator is probably going to be going down. Not to an Aerial Ace. Really? Oh, okay, critical. Yeah, I was going to say. It probably had Technician as well, which is what made that worse. The Brave Bird. Can I survive this? Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I? Oh my god. Critical hit as well? Are you serious? Ugh. Fine. Okay, so knowing these two have these two, uh, let's go into spaghetti. And. That was a bad move. Hopper. Um. Let's use Payback on the Ambipop. Because I don't think Surf will do that much. And then I speed the Star Raptor. Wow, that did nothing. Luckily, I did intimidate both of these two. Whoa! Are you critical hit again? Are you serious? What is with you two? <sighs> well, I'm glad I did heal. Christ. These two are taking the piss. I might finally take that Star Raptor down. Knocked out two of my Pokemon. I'm going to Scooby Doo. Flamethrower. And Flash Cannon. Water Pulse. Well, you have a weird moveset. I'm not going to do that much, though. I think that was probably technician boosted, but even so. Right, so this tough with this. I keep confusing my words. This duo was tougher than I thought. I knew they were tough because they almost took me down the last time I fought them. Um, oh, we're level 47. Oh. Come on, also go level 47. Double awesome. You, you're an expert double battler too. My goodness, you're great at double battles too. Are you two, like, married or something? You're saying exactly the same thing. Although I don't actually know where I was going with that, because married couples don't say the same thing. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, so let's heal everyone, just because I would like to heal everyone. That Star Raptor had Brave Bird as well. I wonder if I get Brave Bird before the level I thought. Uh, where are my movement mills? I'm gonna have to pick up some more of these for the Elite Four because these are really useful because they're quite they're very cheap for how much they heal. And uh, once you've used your revive, it's quite nice to use a movement mill because it's quite cost effective. It's better than a hyper potion. I will have loads of hyper potions still around, hanging around. Don't be mainly for healing in battle, though. Okay, so... This is going to be quite difficult to get. Okay, well I wasn't expecting to hover right over that there. There we go. So, come here. This is for the TM Stone Edge. This is a fantastic TM. Only has 5 PP, but it's a rock-type move with um, 100 power and 80% accuracy, so it's quite inaccurate, but it's fine. Um, it's an, an amazing move, seriously. Um, if you've got a Machamp with no guard, um, Stone Edge is amazing. Doesn't ever miss, just an amazing move. But then again, pretty much any physical attacker that can learn it will appreciate it. Um, I mean, Gallade can learn it, but... I don't really need a rock type move. I mean, rock is a fantastic offensive type, um, but I'd like to keep Leaf Blade because it's quite a nice move, and the other two moves are essential. And Sword Stance is quite nice as well. This guy's got Machamp as well, actually. Why did I say as well? This guy has a Machamp. I always remember this guy's got Machamp. Oh, hang on, I've just realised this. I hope this doesn't have no guard. 
You don't have no guard, do you? I hope this thing has guards, because if it has no guard, it's going to be hitting through my semi invulnerable stage, which is when you're up high and it's flying. Let's see. Uh, that means it has got guts, cool. It's kind of worrying there. Uh, wow, I'm surprised that took it out. The champ is very bulky. It's not incredibly bulky, but it's quite bulky. I've met my match in strength. Yes. Okay, so let's head down here. This guy's got another one of my favourite Pokemon, actually, and a lot of a lot of people's favourite Pokemon, actually. I am a psychic. I can see your past. Are you related to the guy who's at the entrance? <laughs> so you can see my future. Oh wait, you're a girl. All right, that's embarrassing. Okay. So, Ro uh, Roadhouse. Yeah, nice. Um, psychic. I missed the name. Has a Shine Mecho level 44. I'm not talking about this one, by the way, I'm talking about something else. Oh, are you serious? Alright, well I wasn't planning to hit you with a status move. That's fine. Go level 47. Am I going to learn Brave Bird? No, so those ones are cheaters. Here we go, Absol. Level 45. Pressure. I don't like that. What's your last Pokemon? Is it a Galade? No, it's not Galade. Dust Ugh. Okay, let's see what we're going to do against this thing. Um, Scooby Doom is probably my best bet. I'm actually going to set up the sunny day just because this thing is a monster to take down. Just an absolute monster. Curse. Okay, well, I didn't really need to set up the sunny day, did I? Whatever. Let's go for the flamethrower. Take it down. Okay. Your past, you've been through a lot. That's true, I have, yes. Uh, let's go with... Um, spaghetti and Gladiator. I'm just going to put Spaghetti up to the front for now. A trainer which I really need to look out for. Uh, yes, yeah, you. Okay. Victory Road. Somehow it feels as if my journey is now coming to an end, but before the final chapter is written, I must pen your defeat. <laughs> Good luck with that. Especially considering I know what one Pokemon I have to look out for on your team is. That one. Ride on. 47. You're dying to a grass knot. Plain and simple. No way at your living that. Absolutely no way. Even if you're a Rhyperior with solid rock, dead. And a Carnivine, okay. Uh, let's go into Gladiator just because it's not particularly good defensively. Psycho Gun. Ring out. Okay, well that shouldn't be doing too much. Psycho Cut again. Okay, um, I think there are double people around here somewhere. I'm not sure where. That wasn't how I planned the final chapter to go in my writing class. Well, I am sorry. Uh, I won't have you up front. Um, I'll put Hopper up front. 
because that duo with the Blue Minion and Rapid Ash are coming up. I think they're the next trainers that I fight, actually. They're up here. Oh, I know what item's here. In this rock, there is a Heart Scale. Thank God. I'll get rid of Strength um, just before the Elite Four and get myself Sleep Powder. I don't really need it now, but I mean, it's good to have. It's a double team of aces. We're going to overwhelm you. We form a combination that's in perfect sync. How do you expect to counter that? By knowing what team you have, so I can counter it. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, so Luminion and Rapid Ash. Both are level 50. Uh, okay, I. Let's go for Surf, even though. Oh, actually. That doesn't matter, actually. Ooh, Iron Tail. Don't do too much. Shit, that's going to take out my Galate now. That's Surf. Well, at least I managed to get that Leaf Blade in before I bit the dust. Come on, Gladiator, you can survive this. Possibly. Minions down. Uh, no, damn. I don't like that, but. Uh, let's go in Spaghetti just because he he's not level 47. So this is where Arc Reject comes in handy. He, who cares? Just use Grass or something. Gladiator for now. Set that repel back up though. I think there's an ultra ball around here somewhere. I think I may be thinking of somewhere else. Anyway, so up here there is a rare candy. I already know that. Floor then, I don't know if you saw that. Ugh. Don't know why we can't just have a regular, like, just. I don't know why I have to keep jumping off and then surfing again. Right. Uh, I'm gonna wanna go down here. So it's quite a nice TM you can get here. I don't need it, but you can get it. Dragon Pulse, TM59, 90 power special Dragon type move. Um, uh, it's quite good. I don't know what Pokemon you give it to though. I mean, Lucario could learn it, but then again, it can learn Ice Punch, so I don't know why you'd want to bother, but I guess if you want to keep up with the special attacks, it's still decent. Uh, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Who do I have out front? Uh, copper, good. Because this this guy, we see the fully evolved form before we see the pre-evolved form. Which is kind of weird, but whatever. Okay, so Dragon Tamer on Dredge, or whatever the hell that is, has an Altaria, level 45. I haven't even seen a Swablu yet. Although you do see a Swablu in here, so don't worry. If you didn't, if you missed one. Take that thing down. And a Gabite. Level 47. Ew, you're faster, I don't like that. And also you use Dig, I don't like that either. 
may take me out. I don't think so, but it may do. Yeah, no. Cool. Right. Almost go level 48. There's no way I could have won. Well, you're using two Pokemon which are both quarter weak to ice, so... And I have an ice type move, so I don't think you were going to survive. I think there was a hidden item here somewhere. Uh... Okay, this is a max elixir there. So we're going to be heading up here. Uh, this is the guy with the tank growth. Um, I'm not sure what he leads with, though. Because he has an Empoleon and a tank growth, but I'm not sure which one he leads with. Um, well, Roadhouse can take both. I can sense that your Pokemon have a lot of trust in you. You and your Pokemon, you seem to be a glow. I'm glowing? Okay, that's a bit weird. Okay, so veteran Edgar has a Porygon Z, level 46. I love Porygon Z. I really do. I'm using Return just because I don't really want to use another close combat, but I'm just hoping this thing doesn't have Ice Beam or Thunderbolt. Damn, it does! Okay, well this is Bye Bye Roadhouse. There's no way I am surviving that. Really? Okay, well it was non-stab I guess, but even so, Oregon Z is a powerhouse. Okay, so what next? Tank growth. Oh, I should have switched really. Doesn't matter. Number 46. Actually, yeah, it does matter. I should have I should have switched. That was really stupid. How do you have power whip? You don't get that until level 53. I want Power Whip. Yeah, damn. How could that... Why did that have to uh, not miss? Whatever. Scooby Doom, it's up to you. Let's take you down. I should have switched to you originally. Let's keep lowering um, Roadhouse's happiness. And finally, that Empoleon, which I think I'll take down with Spaghetti. Just hoping it doesn't have Ice Beam. He's saying that probably means it does. That was the wrong move. Growl. What a weird move to have on a level 46 Empoleon. Okay, let's think. Which is going to do more, Earthquake or Grass Knot? After a growl. Probably grass knot. Let's see how much this does. Mm, not very much. Drill peck. Shouldn't do too much. Let's compare it to earthquake. Let's see how much earthquake does. About the same, I guess. Earthquake probably doing a little more. Wow, nice one. I think there's only one more trainer left, and I need Hopper alive for it, and other than that, I think we're fine. I understand it now. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you understand. There's the final trainer. What are you doing? Let me size you up. Aim for the Pokémon League. That's what you should be thinking about. Okay. Well, that guy's basically blocking off a national uh, Dex area of the na of the of the national Dex. Yeah, nice. Of the uh, Victory Road. Um, you can get to it before too long. Anyway, so there's a Razor Claw here, which is going to be fantastic if you you're using a Sneasel. 
a bit annoying that you have to wait that long to get a Weavile though, because I mean you get a you can get the Razor Fang for Gliscor really early. But then again, I guess you get you get um, Gligar very really early as well. Anyway, so here I'm finally going to get the TM that I want, that I need, and I've needed forever. After this this annoying rock puzzle that's in every single game that isn't a Gen 5 game. You over there, you over there, you over there. Dark Pulse! Level uh, level 79? TM 79, I should say. Right, this is being talked to Houndoom right now. Most essential move I could ever give to it, other than Flamethrower. Okay, so, teach to Scooby Doo. Uh, get rid of Faint Attack. And Dark Pulse. Cool. Uh, so, we want Hopper up front. Doesn't matter that it's only on 20 hit points. Right, so, let's. Get down here. Oops. Now we'll be heading over here. No, we don't. I want to be going the other way. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I know all the trainers and all their Pokemon, but I don't know which way I'm going. Anyway, so here's the final trainer. This place. This is a place where tough trainers naturally congregate. It's ideal for training. That it is. Okay, so Drag Tamer Clinton has a Gibble, level 43. Hit it with a nice beam. He also has a Gabite, which I hope doesn't outspeed me. Probably will. <laughs> okay, fine, we're switching to Roadhouse if he's still alive. I don't think he is, though. Is he? No, he's not. Uh, well, I have nothing to take a dig, so I'm going to have to sack give, uh, Spaghetti here. I didn't really want to sack her. Empoleon. Uh, let's go into Scooby Doo. Let's use Dark Pulse. <sighs> this stupid goodbye. I think this will probably take me out. Stab, 80 power. Super effective against my weak and defensive stat. Alright, Empoleon, let's just use Aqua Jet and get this done with. Oh, Jesus, I really hope it takes it out. Good. And finally, one last Pokemon, Swablu. Level 45. Hit it with my final Ice Beam. And there we go. That's why I like it here. I get to battle tough characters like you. Well, thank you, I guess. Okay, so here we are. The end of Victory Road. Um, if you click A... It's around here somewhere. Just have to find out where. It is around here somewhere. Okay, well, there's... I'll just, I'll just do it this way. Oh, I hate this. It is around... Oh, there we go. Right there, there's a sky plate. When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. So that can be used to change Arceus into a flying type. A pure flying type, the only one in this game. But anyway, we have one final waterfall to climb. 
I think the sky plate is actually um, it's on either this side or the other side in Dumb and Pearl. I don't think it's where it was there. Oh, it's just white up there. Must be weird. Okay, so here we are, the Pokemon League. The full Pokemon League. They've changed the room a little bit since uh, Diamond and Pearl. Um, we have one final battle before the Elite Four, though. I wonder if you can guess who it's against. Um, who the hell do I want to lead with? Because this guy is a toughie. Um... Oh, I don't have Ricky on me. That's who I should go with. Come on, Ricky. Let's replace you with B-Barrel, who I don't need for another roll. Another... A I don't need it for ages yet. Okay, so let's switch Ricky up to the front, because he's going to be my main man for the first Pokemon. So be very prepped for battle, um, because as soon as you... Step in front of this guy. Here he is. Hold it! Don't go off without me. You're challenging the Pokemon League, aren't you? That's why I'm here too. Let's see who's more worthy of making the of making the challenge with a battle. So here we are, the sort of final battle against Barry. Final pre-national decks, anyway. So he leads with a Staraptor, level 48, normal flying type with the ability to intimidate. With the moves Close Combat, Aerial Ace, Steel Wing, and U-Turn. Be very careful with the speed of this thing and that close combat. So be careful with ice types or rock types. Uh, electric types do okay though. So take that thing out and next we have. Oh, going for the star of the show already. Uh, let's go into Hopper. Okay, so if you started with Piplup. He will have a Torterra, level 51, Grass Ground type with the ability Overgrow, with the moves Leaf Storm, Earthquake, Crunch, and Synthesis. If he started with Chimchar, he will have an Empoleon, level 51, Water Steel type with the ability Torrent, with the moves Brine, Metal Claw, Aerial Ace, and Shadow Claw. If he started with Turtwig, he'll have an Infinite, level 51, Fire Fighting type with the ability Blaze, with the moves Focus Blast, Shadow Claw, Flamethrower, and Aerial Ace. All have a Citrus Berry. So next we have a Pokemon that you'll always have, no matter what no matter what you started with. And it's a tough addition. This is Heracross, level 48. Bug Fighting type with the ability Swarm, with the moves Aerial Ace, Close Combat, Night Slash, and Rock Slide. Again, a very tough Pokemon. All of his Pokemon are tough, apart from one, actually. Which is one that I have to deal with. Um, but anyway, so that's Heracross down. Grow to level 48, awesome. And Flutzel. Um, let's go into Spaghetti. This is Floatzel, level 47, water type, with the ability Swift Swim. With the moves Aqua Jet, Crunch, Ice Fang, as you're seeing, and Brick Break. Oh. Of course I had to flinch. 10% chance of that happening. Well, I guess it's better than freezing. Because it can freeze or flinch. I think that will take it out. Uh, or not. Okay, well he's obviously going to heal. Or not, okay. I thought he'd be healing at this point. Whatever. Let's take it out with a grass knot. So, obvious Pokemon is coming out next. Obvious, 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 obvious. Just before going to level 47, trying to learn Tickle. I don't need it. No, thank you. Uh, this is Rapidash. Probably the easiest member of his team. Uh, let's go into Gladiator. Risky move, but let's do it anyway. Okay, so this is Rapidash. 
move with 47 Fire Type with the ability Run Away, with the moves Fire Blast, Sunny Day, Bounce, and Willow Wisp. If you didn't start with Piplup, he will have a Roserade, level 47 Grass Poison Type with the ability Natural Cure, with the moves Giga Drain, Grass Whistle, Shadow Ball, and Poison Jab. I don't like that bounce. Uh, I hope it misses. This is quite inaccurate. Miss, 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 damn. Okay, well, Gladiator needs the bulk of my training. Uh, let's go into Scooby Doom. Let's use Dark Pulse, finish it off. Oh my god, are you serious? Fine. Don't you dare paralyze me. Thank you. Okay. So finally, we have... Uh... What the hell can I do against this thing? I think Roadhouse is probably on my best bet. Okay, so here we are, Mr. Big Bouncy Best Friend, Snorlax, level 49, normal type, with the ability Immunity, with the moves Body Slam, Crunch, Earthquake, and Rest. Hit it with a return first and then our close combat because this thing is defensive as hell. Yeah, great. It doesn't matter too much. If it was doing more than half, it would matter then. Or it matters then, okay, fine. Where is my full restore? This thing is incredibly specially defensive, so be very careful. Try and hit it with uh, physical moves. Oh, just die already! Close combat! Yes, good. What just went down? My team still needs raising? No, I'd say you're good enough. I guess I'm not ready for the Pokemon League if I'm losing to you. Darn it! You watch though. I'll get tougher and win my way through the Pokemon League because I'm going to become the ch champion, the toughest trainer. Sean, you better not lose to anyone before me. Well, we'll see. <laughs> um, so obviously I need to do a bit of training. Um, my levels aren't really where I want them to be. Um, everyone needs a bit of training. Well, everyone who isn't level 48. Um, so obviously Ricky and Gladiator need the bulk of the training. Roadhouse can be level 50 now. Uh, Hopper can be level 50 now. Um, I don't need to do much training. Um, let's just use those rare candies on those two now. Uh, Hopper and Roadhouse. So I'll only get them to level 50. I was going to go to 52, but I can't be bothered. Yes, Brave Bird! There we go. That's the move I desperately want. Let's get rid of Double Team. I'll keep Fly just because it's a safer alternative. If I really need the power, then I'll have Brave Bird. And go to level 50. Does anyone want a rare candy now? Tangrowth can have one. He can have the three and grow to level 50 now as well. So, Houndoom needs to go level 48, and then Ricky and Gladiator need to go to level 50, uh, 48 as well. I don't want Ring Out. 
No thank you. Okay, so on the next episode, after some off-screen training, we'll begin the Elite Four, finally. Um, I think I'll, like I did for Fire Red, I think I'll just do all four into one video. Um, it'll probably be quite a long video though, because the Elite Four in this game is quite a bit tougher than the one in the last game, in Fire Red. So, we'll see how it goes, but I'll probably do it in just one episode, we'll see how it goes. I think I've said that like three times now. But anyway, uh, until then, see you next time guys.